So I'm gonna teach you how to make a pork roulade with a chutney stuffing and garlic rosemary mashed potatoes. I'm going to start with our mashed potatoes. When I'm cooking my potatoes, I am starting them in cold water so that they cook evenly. If you start them in hot water, the outsides get done first, fall apart, and then the insides may not be cooked. Okay. I'm gonna cut these into quarters, but lengthwise. So we're gonna salt our water now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to get my pan on for the cream that it's gonna be for my potatoes. <laughs> One cup of heavy cream, nothing like a little fat. All right, so what I'm doing is infusing my cream with the rosemary and the garlic. Rosemary. Now I'm gonna cut up some shallots. This can be roughly chopped. I'm just getting all the flavor that I want to put in there. I'm gonna reduce it to a half a cup. I'm gonna put just a pinch of salt in here. Now I'm gonna start working on my filling. So one cup of chicken stock, apricots, I have figs, I have dried plums, not to be mistaken with a prune, it's really the same thing. I'm gonna keep the fruit fairly large because I wanna reconstitute the dried fruit. And then some raisins, a couple of cinnamon sticks, some rosemary, some ginger. This is what I'm gonna do with this ginger. This also is going into a chutney, it doesn't have to be as fine. Okay, I like ginger. All right, some more garlic. Okay, so here, here, take some salt because it's abrasive. <laughs> All right, so that's done. So then that goes. <laughs> but now you appreciate it. All right, so I'm just gonna put more shallots in here. Look at all those goodies. I'm gonna toast all of my walnuts at once for both the filling and a garnish. 425 for nuts is really high, so I've set the timer for five minutes. Now I'm gonna turn down the potatoes. Now the last thing I'm gonna add to my filling is apple. Make this more safe. I am just going to cut down like this. So now I have a nice little piece to cut versus that quarter that's gonna be wonky and rocky. Whenever I'm doing a dice, the width is the same as how thick I'm going to cut it. I love chutney. There are a lot of chutneys in Indian cooking, like mango chutney. It's like a fruit compote but savory. Pork time. So here's a pork tenderloin. We're going to butterfly it. Don't cut all the way through. That's all we're doing, just opening that up. Now we will have to pound it out. I'm starting in the middle and working my way out. Clearly I'm trying to get it nice and even. I think that looks good. So not to multitask, but to multitask. So you can see how this, this cream is just nice and thick. I also want it to kind of stay warm. You have to season the inside and the outside. This is done. The cinnamon stick I take out. The rosemary twig I take out. To strain, because I need this to cool, I'm going to spread it out. I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll finish that in just a second. Okily dokily. So to this, I am adding a tablespoon of sugar, apple cider vinegar. It has some sweetness and it has some tanginess. Put some nuts in here. It smells so good. Let me taste this. Taste, taste, taste. This is just my jam. Mmm. It's still kind of savory. It's, you still have that acid. It's just a little bit of sweetness. It's not a sugar bomb. I'm trying to spread out all my goodies. So when I am rolling it, I take my the side that's closest to me. I am holding everything together and I'm making sure that it is compact. The seam is at the bottom so that it doesn't keep opening. So this is how you truss. Make a knot at the top. Then I make a loop. I take the string under here like this and I come up like this. Loop, drag it through. Any filling that's coming out, you can stuff that in. Now, 
olive oil in my pan. I'm gonna get my potatoes out. We're gonna sear this. While this is searing, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna be doing our potatoes. I wanna show you all this rice herb. Look at this. Come on, Jay. Oh, so cool. I freaking love this thing. It makes really fluffy potatoes. If at any time it gets too dark, I'm gonna take chicken stock and just deglaze it because I just don't wanna, I don't wanna lose that flavor and I don't wanna start over. You see how it just takes it off? And what I can do with that, come back in here, add some oil, just keep going. That becomes flavor and now I'm back in business. I've got butter, it's going in one at a time. All right, the last side, I'm going to go right to the oven. I'm gonna cook it to 140 because I know that as it sits on that hot sheet pan and I rest, it is going to come up to temperature. My cream is still warm. If your potatoes are looser when they are hot, they will be stiffer when they are cold. Make them looser than you think that you want me to have them. Okay, last little bit of butter. <laughs> All right, so this is done. Now, last thing. I know, I'm showing you a quick garnish. I'm peeling it because these strings, you know those strings that you have and they're like, uh, uh, uh. how long has that been in there? So right at 140. That knows, knows. I'm gonna let it rest in my pan. Get all that, look at that beautiful color. That's what you want. So that's, that's safe there. I'm gonna make ribbons with the peeler. I'm gonna add some apple. I'm gonna leave the skin on because the pretty color. I'm gonna add some walnuts. So I'm doing equal parts ordin, or, I don't know where that accent was coming from. <laughs> equal parts. Oh my God, did you hear it? Yeah. yeah I mean, it's just like, somebody came into my body and literally started talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have this beautiful stock that we had reduced. So now I'm heating this up, I'm deglazing. All I'm doing here is scraping the bottom of the pan. In here, I'm catching all of those bits and bobs back in here a little knob of butter just to bring everything together. And if you think you have more, more bits in there that need to be strained, go back. Now I'm just cutting the strings off. Yep, she has those girdle lines. Saw, look at that beautiful, just a little bit of pink. And then I'm gonna just do three little medallions. pork, and then I have salad. Make sure you get all the bits. Now we have our sauce. There you are. It looks like a lot, because it is. 